a man whose strikes carry the strength to topple giants, Dustin Poirier, a name that echoes through the annals of mixed martial arts, a fighter who embodies the perfect blend of technique, resilience, and sheer power, continues to prove himself. Did you see that grit? That veteran savvy? Poirier danced with danger, dodging punches, surviving takedowns, and still managed to land the knockout blow. Talk about a diamond in the rough. We're absolutely not throwing shade. Saint-Denis still has potential, no doubt, but Poirier's performance? Pure magic. He didn't just win, he dominated, leaving us all in awe. In his recent match against Benoit Saint-Denis, Dustin Poirier showcased his mastery by delivering a knockout blow that resonated in the arena. However, it wasn't just the result that captured attention. Spectators were intrigued by Poirier's systematic dismantling of his opponent. As Poirier celebrated, onlookers questioned what sets him apart from others in his league. Is it inherent talent or a deep comprehension of the sport? It became evident from the fight's onset that Poirier's technical skill surpassed Santanis. Each of Poirier's strikes was meticulously executed, reflecting years of training, while Santanis relied more on endurance and brute force to withstand Poirier's assault. Wow, talk about a strategic masterclass from Benoit Santanis. Despite the outcome, let's give credit where credit is due. His approach to the fight was nothing short of genius. It was calculated, methodical, and oh so effective. Early on, Benoit didn't mess around. Nope, he dove straight into his game plan like a seasoned pro. Clinch striking, takedowns galore, he stuck to Dustin Poirier like glue. And let's not forget about those elbows, talk about bringing the heat. Sure, things got a bit dicey in the second round. Benoit may have slugged a bit too much in the pocket with DP, but can you blame him? When you're in the ring with a powerhouse like Poirier, it's hard not to get caught up in the moment. Now let's address Benoit's striking defense. Let's just say there's room for improvement. And speed? Well, let's just say he's not exactly breaking any land speed records. But hey, he's got power, he's got a chin of steel, there's something to be said for that. But let's be real, slugging it out with Dustin Poirier? That's like playing with fire in a dynamite factory. It was only a matter of time before things went south, especially with DP's crafty moves and lightning fast counters. And can we talk about that moment when Benoit tried to slug it out in the pocket? Talk about a heart in your throat kind of moment. It was like watching a high speed car chase with no brakes. But it happens to the best of us, right? Sometimes the fight game throws you a curveball and you've just got to roll with the punches. So hats off to Dustin Poirier for proving us all wrong and delivering a knockout performance. And to all your Poirier fans out there, experts may have underestimated the diamond in the rough. But that's the beauty of MMA. It's unpredictable, it's exhilarating, and it keeps us on the edge of our seats. Talking about the fight as it progressed, it was evident that toughness alone wouldn't be enough to withstand Poirier's onslaught. Saint-Denis marched forward, absorbing blow after blow, but his lack of technical defense proved to be his downfall. Poirier found his openings and exploited them mercilessly. And in the second round, with a thunderous strike, he sent Saint-Denis crashing to the canvas, leaving him out cold. Even in the victory, Poirier showed respect for his opponent's strength, acknowledging Saint-Denis' tenacity. But it was a stark reminder that in the world of mixed martial arts, skill and technique will always prevail over raw power alone. So as the dust settles and the echoes of Poirier's victory fade away, one thing remains clear. Dustin Poirier is still that guy. And as long as he continues to step into the octagon, the world will be watching, in awe of his skill, his resilience, and his unwavering determination to be the best. Moments like these truly showcase the genius of Dustin Poirier inside the octagon. Every strike, every movement, calculated to exploit his opponent's weaknesses and capitalize on their instincts. Take for instance that devastating uppercut that sealed the fate for Benoit Saint-Denis. Poirier's understanding of his opponent's tendencies is unparalleled. He knew that a grappler like Saint-Denis would instinctively duck his head, especially when backed against the fence. And Poirier exploited that flaw with precision timing, intercepting Saint-Denis' movement with a perfectly placed uppercut. What makes champions like Poirier stand out isn't just how strong they are, but how good they are at figuring out what their opponents might do in a fight. Do you think Poirier wins because he watches and understands how his opponents fight? But it wasn't just brute force that led to Poirier's victory. His mastery of technique was on full display, particularly with his jab followed by a right hook combination. The deception in his movements left Saint-Denis completely blindsided. Poirier's jab extended forward, inviting Saint-Denis to attack the perceived opening to the body. However, Poirier had already planned his retreat, pulling back just enough to evade Saint-Denis' counter and create an opening of his own. In a flurry of exchanges, Poirier's superior head movement proved to be the deciding factor. While Saint-Denis remained stationary, Poirier's evasive maneuvers allowed him to land a devastating blow that sent Saint-Denis crashing to the canvas. But even in defeat, Saint-Denis showed the heart of a warrior, continuing to press forward despite the punishment he endured. It's a testament to the resilience of both fighters, but ultimately it was Poirier's technical mastery and strategic brilliance that secured the victory. Dustin Poirier once again proved why he's considered one of the best in the world. 
With each performance, he cements his legacy as a true master of martial arts, leaving fans in awe of his skill, his intelligence, and his unwavering determination to reign supreme in the world of mixed martial arts. The brilliance of Dustin Poirier's strategy was on full display in the closing moments of the fight, where he showcased not only his technical proficiency, but also his adaptability and intelligence inside the cage. When Poitier secured the guillotine, it wasn't merely a submission attempt. Instead, he used it as a tool to manipulate the positioning of both himself and Benoit Saint-Denis. By spinning around and adjusting his grip, Poirier effectively created space between himself and the fence, giving him the opportunity to land significant strikes. As Saint-Denis escaped the guillotine, Poirier wasted no time in capitalizing on the opening. His left hand found its mark, connecting cleanly with Santini's chin, staggering him momentarily, but Poirier didn't stop there. With calculated precision, Poirier advanced, feigning a right hand to gauge Santini's reaction. And as Santini raised his guard in anticipation, Poirier seized the opportunity, pinpointing a gap in his defense. The left hook snaked around Santini's right guard, finding its target with devastating accuracy. It was a masterclass in offensive strategy as Poirier seamlessly transitioned from a potential submission attempt to a series of well-timed strikes. Each movement, each strike, executed with purpose and precision, showcasing Poirier's ability to think and adapt on the fly. It was this combination of technical skill, strategic acumen, and relentless determination that secured another impressive victory for Dustin Poirier. And as the dust settled and the cheers of the crowd faded away, one thing became abundantly clear. Dustin Poirier is not just a fighter, he's a true tactician, capable of outsmarting his opponents both inside and outside the cage. The mastery of Dustin Poirier's grappling defense was evident throughout his bout with Benoit Saint-Denis. In moments where Saint-Denis threatened with back takes and submission attempts, Poirier's awareness and technical proudness shone brightly. When Saint-Denis attempted to secure a rear naked choke, Poirier focused on breaking the grip and prying open the hooks, creating an opportunity to spin out of danger. Even when Saint-Denis transitioned to an armbar and later a triangle choke, Poirier remained calm and calculated, strategically defending against the submission attempt with precision. Poirier's distant management was equally impressive, showcasing his ability to anticipate and counter Saint-Denis' attacks effectively. By maintaining the perfect distance, Poirier could evade Santini's strikes while simultaneously delivering devastating counters. In one instance, as Santini pressured forward with a left straight, Poirier effortlessly countered with a check right hook, exploiting the overextension of Santini's punch. Similarly, when Santini attempted an overhand left, Poirier expertly evaded the strike and landed another crisp right hook, disrupting Santini's rhythm and thwarting his takedown attempts. Poirier's understanding of timing and distance allowed him to dictate the pace of the fight, neutralizing Santini's offense while capitalizing on opening to deliver his own strikes. It was a testament to Poirier's skill and intelligence inside the cage as he seamlessly blended defensive maneuvers with offensive counters to secure another impressive victory. The dynamic exchange between Dustin Poirier and Benoit Saint-Denis showcased not only their striking prowess, but also their strategic awareness and grappling abilities. In a crucial moment of the fight, both fighters unleashed their strongest punches simultaneously. Poirier's speed and accuracy gave him the edge as he landed a clean right hook despite Saint-Denis' advantageous southpaw stance. Poirier's punch disrupted Saint-Denis' aim, causing his own punch to miss. Despite taking the hit, Saint-Denis showed resilience by retaliating with a powerful punch. However, Poirier's defensive skills came into play as he evaded Saint-Denis' counter with precision, showcasing his strategic prowess. In another intriguing moment, Santini demonstrated his grappling prowess by utilizing a Kimura to reverse Poirier's takedown attempt. Despite Poirier's initial attempt to secure the takedown, Santini seized the opportunity to grab hold of the Kimura and execute a reversal. With the expert technique, Santini maneuvered his leg between Poirier's and extended it forward, effectively flipping Poirier over and reversing the position against the fence. Poirier's defensive tactics were commendable, as he attempted to maintain the position by gripping onto the fence with his toes. However, Santini's skillful execution allowed him to secure top position against the fence, showcasing his ability to adapt and capitalize on opportunities in the heat of the battle. Overall, the exchange between Poirier and Santini exemplified the multifaceted nature of mixed martial arts, with both fighters demonstrating their striking prowess, defensive skills, and grappling abilities. It was a testament to their athleticism, intelligence, and determination to emerge victorious in one of the most challenging sports on the planet. Dustin Poirier's resilience and skill were on full display in his recent victory, reaffirming his status as one of the top lightweights in the world. Despite facing adversity in the past, particularly his knockout loss to Justin Gaethje, Poirier's ability to absorb punishment and keep moving forward is truly remarkable. Even against a larger opponent like Benoit Saint-Denis, Poirier showcased his durability, taking flush shots and never appearing hurt. 
Looking ahead, the possibilities for Poirier's next opponent are numerous. One intriguing matchup would be against the winner of the upcoming bout between Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. Alternatively, if the UFC decides to go in a different direction, a matchup against the winner of Charles Oliveira and Armand Tarukian could also be compelling. Regardless of who he faces next, Poirier is undoubtedly deserving of a shot against the lightweight title. His performance against Santini further solidifies his status as a top contender in the division. As for Santini, while the knockout loss was undoubtedly disappointing, there is no shame in losing to a fighter of Poirier's caliber. Santini should take the opportunity to learn and grow from the experience, coming back stronger and more prepared for his next challenge. A matchup against Rafael Dos Anjos could be an exciting next step for him. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, fight fans!